What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and today we have more Cosmic Eclipse. A bunch of stuff from the pre-release that we attended. Today we're going to be opening up two of these. So four packs each plus three more co packs of Cosmic Eclipse. So a total of 11. Plus we're going to be looking at the starter build a build and battle decks that they come with. <clears throat> the one that we're looking for is the Fion. Uh, I feel like that card's really amazing. It's basically like two custom catchers but all you need is a slot on your bench available and or you can just put them on the bench to for when you want to use it feels a little bit more risky just because uh, I mean they could be on you back or something be feeling you before you get them ah so we did get the Entei this one is feels not so good <laughs> Rally ra rally back 30 if you just lost a Pokemon last turn does 90 more for 120 Kind of tells you how bad the, in my opinion the map my champ Marshadow was because essentially that's like the same attack I believe and then fire main for three energy 100 damage mm, Nothing to write home about Put off the side get our four packs and actually let's open these first We'll go with the three that we got from just attending the pre-release So I feel like I underestimated this set. Now that I've had some in my hand, gone to an event, like Hidden Fates was super, I keep doing that, super hype and still is, but I feel like that's just purely from the collector's point of view. And now the competitive part of me, ah, great catcher. Man, we managed to get a, boom, secret rare version of that during the pre-release for trade. That was amazing, but super good card right there. I think, believe it's just going to replace um, Custom Catcher altogether. It only does work on EXGX, but um, and all you all you have to do is discard two cards from your hand. So we have a Spiel. Our reverse is a Dupe Hider, and then a Heliolus. What does this do? 30 plus for one energy. If your opponent has any electric Pokemon in play. If your opponent has electric Pokemon in play. Interesting. And then Zap Kick for 80 for three colorless energy. Stage one. Doesn't sound that good. But uh, yeah, I'm excited for a whole new reason. And this thing does have some stuff for the collector's appeal too. You know, it has the all of the character rares, which I am really excited about. Hope to get all of them. Obviously, I already do have the Dawn one, which was the one I was most excited about. And all right. I feel like my muscle memory for the pack trick is in the Hidden Fates mode. We have a Pyroar. What do we have here? 70 damage. Discard all tools attached from this. Touch to your opponent's Pokemon. Interesting. Each of your opponents. That's interesting. Not bad, but don't think it's good enough. Throw. Tangrowth. Ponyard. Togemaru. Trapinch. Flabebe. Tangela. That's not it yet. Oh, wait. We did something. Oh, I keep doing that incorrect. <laughs> Alolan Ninetales, another Alolan Ninetales. Rubbish Blizzard. This attack does 10 damage for each Pokemon tool card in your discard pile for no energy. There's no cap to that. So maybe there's some weird shenanigans you can do there. No, no energy deck maybe? <laughs> and you just have a bunch of trainers to cycle into your discard pile. Doubt it, but there's a chance. So these packs came from, you know, they kind of just hand them out at the pre-release and they came from a booster box. So far we didn't get anything. We got a Dusclops, ooh, this is a pretty cool card. Pokemon o Professor Oak setup. A bunch of my opponents were doing this to me yesterday. Three basic, basic Pokemon, different types, and put them onto your bench. I don't see why that can't be tag teams, so maybe that's pretty good. Pignite, Chincho, Cosmog. Prevent all effects, surprise attack, nothing. Pancham, Drillbur, a Tangela, Fion, why do I keep, oh wait, no, this is correct now. Galele, Ice Fang, 30, flip a coin if your opponent's active Pokemon is paralyzed and discard energy, ooh, that discard is not bad. But only 30 damage, and then Frosty Typhoon, 120, you can't use it next turn. Okay, now we're on to the Build-A-Box packs. We have four of those, and then we have one more box. So let me know what your thoughts are of this set. You know, are you, how, what is your anticipation level after the craziness that was Hidden Fates? I feel like one popular or 
one typical response might be, you know, the wallet fatigue is just too much, so I don't think I can really do much for this set. You know, that's by no means surprising. Or maybe, you know, you didn't buy into the whole Hidden Fates thing because you were more concerned about the competitive side. Actually, this card... Um, so Mischievous Hand just put two damage counters on two, two Pokemon. Choose two of your Pokemon, put two damage on them. Or Impersonation. At first I thought this card was really good. I didn't occur to me that you do have to discard it. So that does allow you to two, use two, two supporters, which isn't bad, but I don't think it's good enough. Simeon, maybe actually there's probably some shenanigans out there that you can do. Skrulp, another Skrulp, and a Whimsicott. Put your card in your hand, lost on if you do draw three cards. Lost March. Yes, Lost March, still a thing. Getting more support. That one's not bad. Give some card draw while you set up. Alright, we got a white coat card. Here we go. Let's get our first good pull of this opening. Ooh, Misty and Lorelei. Search your deck for three energy, reveal them, and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. When you play this card, discard five cards, and then a water Pokemon can use their GX attack again. Draw energy. This one's pretty cool. Anytime you just replace the card in your hand and you get an energy out of it. Not bad. Blow away bomb, nose pass, snow runt, a Alolan Vulpix, gnaw, snowed in. As long as this Pokemon is on your bench, prevent damage done to this Pokemon by attacks. And okay, we got our first GX, and it is a Flygon. Dusty Defense. As long as this Pokemon is your active, all your Pokemon take 30 less damage. Hmm. Although it does need to be in the active, so it's I mean. If you need that, just put Mew on the bench. <laughs> Desert Hurricane for 120 plus. If there's a stadium card, this attack does 120 more. Then discard that stadium card. Interesting. Sonic Edge 220. This attack isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Um, three fighting is very unappealing to me. Stage two, I feel like everything about this is just not good enough. Two packs left in our first box. Hopefully we get that Fion. I doubt it's going to be as crazy as the pre-release Jirachi, but definitely going to be much better than that Entei. We got, ooh, Roller Skater, another good one. Uh, let's see, uh, someone was telling me on during my live streams that this is going to be super good for Malamar. It makes total sense. Discard Energy, which is good for Malamar in general. Doll Swap, interesting card. Ape, Ape Palm. Cottony, another Lost March. Rowlet. Fan, Phantom. Lowland Grimer. Eh, not my favorite art for that card. Magnemite. Herdier. Alright, we're still haven't pulled a character rare yet. And then, ah, Zatu. This thing sounds amazing. Flip a coin. If heads. Put your opponent's Pokemon down to 10 HP. Imagine any tag team. This plus Shrine of Punishment equals GG. All right, on to our last pack. For this box, don't worry, we have one more. One thing I will say though, and this was kind of anticipated, is it's a little, um, going to the regular pull rates versus the hidden fates is a little, a little painful, not gonna lie. Just the amount of hits, I had to, you get so many hits in Hidden Fates, I had to order more sleeves. That's why we're using some ETV sleeves. And now that we, after we restyle, it's like, ah, maybe we don't need that many. <laughs> oh boy, our first character rare in our openings. We do have the Dawn already from the pre-release. Oh, this car looks so good. I feel like it's a little off center. Looks like there's more on the left. And then we have Drampa. Let's look at Drampa real quick. Dragon Claw, Dragon Arcana, 70. This probably has two or more different energy basic. 70 more damage. Hmm. Let's take a look at the back. Yeah, I feel like it's a little off center. Then there's a nick in that corner. But amazing card. It's interesting that the character rares, they're not like, they don't have any texture. I think that's fine, but 
I think I would have appreciated it a little bit more if they did. All right, so from that box, it was pretty good. We got a one GX and one character rare. Roller skater is very good. I believe we got a custom catcher somewhere. I'll have to look for it later. Let's get into box number two. Let's show me that Fion promo. Curious what those will be going for in the coming weeks. I'm super excited for this set to be released and see what kind of decks we can make in PTCGO. So we do stream pretty regular. Oh, there's that cut. Hey, there we go. Fion, let's take a look at this. Once during your turn before your attack, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you may have your opponent switch their active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon. If you do, discard this card and all stuff. Ooh, put it to the bottom of your deck, meaning you can keep using this if you have a good way to tutor it up, which I don't know. I'm not sure what the best way is, but the, the attack is completely irrelevant. This thing is just for its ability. Like, so great catcher, I feel like is going to be a thing. And this thing is just better. So actually, maybe this won't be a thing. Maybe this thing will replace both of them. You know, you're never going to use its rain splash. So what difference does it make? What type of uh, Pokemon it is? I'm not sure how to prevent this. I guess maybe power plants, but I think that card's amazing. So super happy we picked that up and we got four more packs. That's actually my second one at this point. Cards that we would definitely like to see. Oh, that Charizard breaks in does sound pretty cool. Obviously we want that Blastoise tag team. Finally he gets his tag team. It took a while. We got a throw. Tangrowth. Lily's full force. This card sounds terrible. Draw four cards. At the end of your turn, if you have three more cards and shuffle in and shuffle cards into your from your hand into your deck until you have two left. This card is so bad. And it doesn't is not bad enough to make in the plus side of the Lunala Sogaleo. It definitely doesn't make up for it. This is like the reverse of blue. Kind of, or no, not the reverse, but like instead of drawing cards in the end turn, you lose cards. Just terrible. I wonder if you can somehow, like let's say LT Surge, use this and then you use blue. So I wonder if this would allow you to, eh, not worth it. Trap Pinch, <laughs> just a bad card. Spiel, Passimian, if there's a reason for that Lily card that I'm not saying, let me know. Otherwise it just sounds terrible to me. The Brava, okay, what does this do? Whenever your opponent plays a supporter card from their hand, prevent all, oh, to this Pokemon, I was about to say, oh my gosh, that's amazing. But, Exadrill, the clay, is it Exadrill or is it Drillbur? Can't remember. 11th hour tackle, 30 plus if there are three or fewer cards in in your deck. This does 180, wow, that's a, some late, late game power right there. Discard the top four cards of your deck, oh wow. Oh man, this is really interesting. 120 for one energy, just that. And I guess you could be priming this, but just that by itself is good. I don't know, cards that we want stuff in the discard. Malamar, I guess, maybe. But you don't need the psychic energy for this. I don't know, that's an interesting card. I feel like it's strong in its own right. All right, Psychic Energy, Unidentified Fossil, Hakamo, Herdier, Palpatode, Cricketot, Apom, a Woobat, Ducklet. That card looks, that art. Cricketot is our reverse, and then another Zatu. Very nice. Definitely want a play set of those. After going to my first uh, pre-release, I'm kind of tempted. Uh, actually, weekends are pretty busy for me, but in the event that Sundays are available, consider going to the league and uh, I would need to make a deck IRL which I currently don't have one Roxy this is another I feel like this card could be pretty good um, let's say for I mean I've been playing a lot of Malamar lately so this card could combo well with Giratina technically if you discard two of them draw six cards and get two Giratina into the discard sounds pretty good to me Presser Oak, Pyroar, Deerling, Golet, Dupider, Apom, 
Onyx. Onyx is Onyx ever good? Put an energy card from your discard pile into your hand. Nah. Tail smash, flip a coin, tails. This stack does nothing. Oh my, are you kidding me? We got another one? This is definitely my favorite alternate arts. Let's see how it looks. Looks pretty good. I feel like the center might not be perfect, a little bit more on the top. And then we got another Drampa. So, another character rare for this opening. I feel like they're quite rare. Like, at the pre-release, not too many people had them. So I feel like we're doing very well. And that is our second Dawn in Priplup, Piplup. All right, last pack. These, uh, the pack arts are very colorful, very happy colors. All those rainbow colors and stuff like that. Ooh, we got something. We got something, guys. We have yet to pull any kind of full art, rainbow, or anything like that. I'm not sure what I saw, but maybe it is something good. Dusclops, very cool card. Presser Oak, just the speed that you can get from Duskull to Dust Noir is very interesting. Magnemite, I think the Magneton is really good. Well, Bebe, it's just funny to say. Sneasel. Natu, what does this do? Because Natu is super good. Look at the top four cards of either player's deck and put them back in any order. Hmm. I wonder if that's for Pidgeotto Control, those really annoying decks. And then a Larvesta. Okay, the card we got is in our last slot. Let's see. One, two, three. Boom. Oh boy. We got the. Is that the alternate art? I think it is. The alternate art. So Galeo and Lunala. Oh, all right, we, and let's take a look at this Cosmic Burn for four energy, 230, you can't use the next turn. All right, so is Lunala's full Lily's full force worth it? If you play Lily's full force from your hand during this turn, prevent all effects, all attack during damage done to your Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. Prevent all effects of attacks done to each of your Pokemon. Okay, so it's not like uh, some of the other stuff like Caldeo or... Um, Latios where it's just that Pokemon it sounds like this is for all your Pokemon so that's a pretty good attack 200 feels a little weak but it's just to hold you over to basically almost like time walk your opponent in a way so really happy we got uh, I'd have no sleeves I don't know I feel like compared to Reshiram Zekrom this thing is nowhere near but I am so happy to be pulled wow in this video we pulled three alternate arts and this one is is a textured one because it is a tag team so ooh, look at that yeah sure we also got a flag on GX but this guy sounds pretty bad <laughs> so that's it we also got a bunch of other cool cards Roxy great catcher and roller skater all very good and uh, yeah so thanks for watching as always guys like comment and subscribe all down below stay tuned for probably tomorrow maybe the following day maybe we'll skip a day for these cosmic eclipse rest of these boxes to be opened man i totally underestimated the hype for cosmic eclipse but i'm starting to feel it the competitive side of me is really excited so let me know what your thoughts are on this set are you getting are you amped uh, let me know a comment down below thanks for watching guys i'm wanna turtle and i'll catch you guys next time